हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर फोर्स एंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई एक्सप्लेन टाइप ऑफ लॉज ऑफ फोर्स एंड मोशन लेट्स फर्स्ट न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन लॉ ऑफ इनर्शिया लॉ ऑफ इनर्शिया वट इज इनर्शिया Inertia is based on inertia is based on mass and mass if have having higher mass then having high inertia. Inertia having three types: rest, motion, and direction. Rest inertia of rest. If an object in rest position, then wants to be rest. Until an external force applied on it. Second direction. If an object move in a particular direction, then move in a same direction until an external force applied on it. Motion. If an object in motion position, then wants to be motion until an external force applied on it. So by this con conclusion, you know that object, if object move in the same direction, then wants to be move. Until an external force applied on it, okay? It is a law of inertia. If object in a rest position, then wants to be rest until an external force applied on it, or vice versa. Okay, students. Law of inertia means first, second, second law of motion. It is important. And important is why? Because there is two types of first F equal to delta p upon delta t or f is equal to ma so the rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force again the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force listen to what is momentum momentum is the product of mass and of its velocity next the rate of change of momentum is known as force and the momentum is the product of mass and velocity okay students how can you derive from it f is equal to m v delta v upon delta t and delta v upon delta t is known as a the rate of change of velocity so you will get f is equal to m so we can say the force is directly proportional to the acceleration and mass mass you know it can't be changed it is a scalar quantity okay students and next third law of motion third law of motion is very easy what is third law of motion action and reaction what how every action having reaction force every action force having reaction force opposite in direction equal in magnitude if this is 5 newton it is also 5 but there these two forces applied on on other other object for example if we applied to 2 newton on this so it will be applied also in this 2 newton different object so action every action force having reaction force equal in direction but opposite in sorry equal in magnitude opposite in direction okay students then law of conservation of momentum law of conservation of momentum law of conservation of momentum if two object m1 m2 u1 u2 after collision v1 v2 total momentum before collision total momentum before collision equal to the after moment momentum after collision if means p1 plus p2 is equal to p1 plus p2 is equal to p3 plus p4 means these are the 
total momentum before collision it is a total momentum after collision law of conservation momentum state that total momentum before collision is equal to the uh, total momentum after collision okay students in next video i explain some other example interesting based on that and important formula okay thank you